Coach, uh, non-basketball question, your thoughts on the election? Are you plan on voting next week? Just let's get the thing over with. Let's play. <laughs> we should stop concentrating on things that have no bearing on whether somebody could be president or not. We should concentrate on things that are relevant. I didn't make any statements, though. <laughs> <laughs> when you're, like, if you coach, you're not allowed to have an opinion. <laughs> Jim, you've mentioned Torian uh, getting, getting better on defense. Yeah, what, what exactly does he do? Everything. You know, he's, he's everything. <laughs> Is there any area that... that no. Okay. He's lost. He's lost out there. He's... <laughs> tries to get in the way sometimes, and sometimes he tries to get out of the way. You know, he's long. Once in a while, he might, by accident, do something there. <laughs> when Frank got a chance to play a little bit tonight, what did you see out of him? I thought the first half he was okay. I think the second half he's trying to prove that he can't shoot jump shots, I guess. Jim, obviously, it doesn't come down to one, one free throw, but what do you tell Tyler after the game? Something like that? Uh, he's, no, he's, he's 0 for 8. I didn't think he was going to make it. He almost made the second one, which would really been bad. But, you know, no, he's 0 for 8. He's not going to make that free throw. These guys fight. They fight as hard as you can fight. When you're down against Louisville, whatever it was, 7, 8, 9, whatever it was in regulation, and come back and have a chance actually to win the game, uh, it was an unbelievable effort there. And then you're down 9 or something in overtime, you get it to 2. That's... Uh, Louisville's a top 10 team, top five, maybe. I mean, that's an unbelievable accomplishment to come back like that against a team like that. Unbelievable. It was an unbelievable effort. Herculean effort. Also, one quick thing. When you go to the Final Four, you can lose 20 games. It doesn't matter. Those are just numbers that you put in the paper that don't mean anything. Mike Waters wrote a pretty reasonable article that you should read because he explained what's happened. Now, I don't agree with everything, Mike, but he made some good points. But when you go to the Final Four, last year was the fifth best year I've ever had here, ever. The only thing that matters in college basketball is one Final Four. If that's the barometer, I stand correct. If we can lose 12 games every year and go to the Final Four every year, I'll take it. Now, so you're saying, and this is, sorry, this is enormous. No, this is fine. This is a press conference. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> So the last three years. I like it when you come because usually you don't come, so I don't have anybody to talk to. People <laughs> pay to watch this. You understand? <laughs> I can't believe that. You understand that? We, have, we took a poll in the uh, mm -hmm. that down and something like 98 point something percent. Yeah, they took a poll and said Hillary Clinton was going to be president. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't work out so good. I'm glad that that poll was taken. And the two percent went to Georgetown. <laughs> when we are losing after the game, there's 60 posts. 48 to 50 are nice. I'm too old. The zone's no good. Along those lines. When we win, we won the other night, there were two comments. So what that tells me is those people are just haters and they're going to hate, like John Gillen said. <laughs> I didn't see any hating John Gillen the other night either. But that's the way it is. That's the real world that we live in now.